Down the stretch we come. We just have uh, our guest debt talks finishes up. A couple things have changed since the, the last time we did this. There's not going to be recaps on these. We're, we're going to uh, plow through them. So I'm, I'm going to put six minutes on the clock for each of you. And I'm going to push you to stick with it. If you see me doing this, <laughs> all right, that will be preceded, preceded by me then coming up and physically removing you from the stage. So, um, or actually Greg physically removing from you. from the stage. So, <laughs> All right, uh, so without further ado, let's get to it. Um, we, we've met on the internet. It was our first time meeting a couple days ago. We're thrilled to have Mr. Mark Gandy, big, great listener of the Soul of Enterprise. Mark, welcome. Let's hear it. By the way, I do have a microphone. Oh. Uh, I do have a, a message from my attorney, Matthew. And we have a little legality we do have to take care of first. Uh, this is to you, Greg. Would you please sign that? I will never impersonate, make fun of, or joke about Mark Gandy. And that does need to be not notarized, too. <laughs> well, please. <sighs> My name is Mark Gandy. I'm from Missouri. Uh, that makes me a cross between a redneck and a hillbilly, but I prefer educated hick. Uh, my, those are my two brands, G3 CFO for Agent CFO. I would like to state that my close rate is almost 100%. So, Ron, why is that a problem? Exactly, exactly. So that's why I'm, I'm here. So... I have two conversations when I'm uh, bringing on new clients, excuse me, customers, guests. Uh, I have two conversations uh, with CEOs. There's the sales conversation number one, sales conversation number two. Number one is just what's the pain point, what are the issues? So I'm not going to count that one. So I have sales conversation number two. What we're going to talk about is a framework, simple framework before the sales conversation during the sales conversation, after the sales conversation, just a framework. So part of my framework is number one is where are we going? After I've had that first conversation, I need to know where that customer is going. And I also need to know where do they need to go. Now they have to answer that question, but I have to answer it myself. If I can't, it will not be a transformational experience. Uh, core four, I've been working on the core four for about 16, 17 years trying to nail uh, this down. Uh, for you, it might be the, 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 the fab three, the, the, the big two, the big three or whatever. For me, it's the core four. When I go into that second sales conversation, I need to know, I have to know that customers, that prospect, and they will hire me, I have to know what their core four is. Number one, I, need, I want to love my business all over again. That typically is why I'm typically hired. They won't say that, but if that customer is struggling with their business, I will help them to love their business all over again. Can you say that with all of your, your uh, people that you're trying to reach out to for them to be a, a customer of you? Uh, number two, I want a leadership team I can respect, trust, and like. Can you imagine if every one of your clients had that kind of a senior leadership team? That would be a transformational business uh, for them. Number three, I want peace of mind about a bigger and better future. Uh, number four, I, I attribute number four a little bit to John Warlow, but I have added enviable business. Wouldn't it be great if all of your customers had an enviable business? That is the core four. I tried to know the core four before I have sales conversation number two. I've also created what's called the entrepreneurial ladder. Uh, where's Adrian? Where's Adrian? I thought you, uh, I thought you nailed it where, wherever he is. Y your mental model, Adrian, was outstanding. <laughs> so one of my mental models is the entrepreneurial ladder. So every, every customer, every CEO I know, they usually hire me because they need more money. So I take care of that. And then they want more money. We help with that. And then finally, they want more time. Imagine just unpeeling, peeling back the onion. If you can help every customer scale the entrepreneurial ladder, this is incredible. This is what I do going into my sales conversation. We do this before, during, and after the sales conversation. By the way, number four, more meaning. 
one to two percent of all of our customers will ever get there. I wrote down some names last night, R.G. Letourneau, J.C. Penney, uh, John Wanamaker, Sir John Templeton, and then Sam Baker. Sorry, very, very sorry, sorry. Skip, 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 skipping, skipping, skipping. Again, this is my mental model. I'm skipping because I don't have enough time. Skipping, skipping. Uh, let's go back to this one. Part of my before sales conversation, during sales conversation, after is finding, getting, doing. Every, once we figured out the Peter Drucker, we're in business to get a customer, then business is all about finding, getting, doing. Marketing, selling, and then the black box cool stuff, the magic that's performed. So for every customer that I go into a sales conversation, I figure out their ING words. How do I make that practical? I usually do this on a dry race board. Most customers are just, they're, they're, it's like, I don't know where to start. Well, let's take your finding, getting, and doing activities. Let's make it really simple. What's on-field activities? What's off-field? These guys are on-field or front stage. These guys are off-field. Let's start there. Let's start one of those two places or front office, back office. That helps to determine where do we start solving problems. Uh, one other thing I do with the same model of finding, getting, doing is, again, before I have that second sales conversation, I have to know these answers already. So I'll look at their ING words. Again, what are the ING words for all of your customers? Once I figure those out, what are the two to three, three, two to three I can't talk, two to three key activities for each of those ING words? Uh, number two, what are the two to three key numbers for those ING words that shows are we winning or losing? And then finally, what do we need to be working on? That's part of the after action review. Does that make sense? So this is part of my mental model of onboarding. And I think that's why that close rate is so high, but again, need to raise the, the, the pricing. Um, and then that's the sweet spot. That's the end result, right? That's what every customer typically, typically wants. Last thing, I got a few seconds left. Last thing, I think every one of us, I think some of you guys are uh, just creating a private portal for an industry. So for example, this is called the job placement edge. I know squat about job placement industry, but all of a sudden I'm becoming an expert at it. And so I've created this private portal for one of my clients, uh, contractors, e-commerce. Uh, for those of you on a tight budget, use Thinkific, uh, use Skilljar or use a WordPress, use a membership plugin. You can start building some of that great content. Um, you can make it video, audio, text, et cetera. That's it, that's part of my mental model. Does that make sense?